Is PayPal a stock I should keep my eyes on? In today's episode, we'll discuss three reasons to be bullish on this fintech giant, despite some bearish concerns. We'll dive into the growth potential of Braintree, PayPal's complete payment, PPCP initiative, and their financials. So buckle up and let's get started. Reason number one, Braintree's growth potential. First, let's look at the growth potential of PayPal's subsidiary, Braintree. In 2022, PayPal's global total payment volume reached $1.36 trillion, which is a whopping 40% year-over-year growth in unbranded processing, which is primarily a compromise of Braintree's full-stack volume. For those not familiar with Braintree, Braintree is a versatile payment platform that simplifies accepting payments on websites and apps. It's catered to merchants in the United States who want to accept various payment methods, including PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, and major credit cards and debit cards. Management has expressed interest in expanding into omnichannel and in-store payment solutions for businesses with both online and physical store presence. They've also recently announced a multi-year deal with Live Nation Entertainment, making PayPal's Braintree Ticketmaster's primary global payment processors. Other big customers include Airbnb, GitHub, and Grubhub. Reason number two, growth opportunities in PPCP and other initiatives. The second reason to be bullish on PayPal stock is the growth potential in various initiatives, especially PPCP, and we'll get to that in a bit. Before we go any further, I want to thank you for watching, and I need your help to reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Also, if you want some fantastic insight into the semiconductor industry, join my other channel, Semiconductor Investing and More, where I use my electrical engineering background to break down the semiconductor market. Finally, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for their subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. First, let's take a closer look at Venmo, another PayPal service, which continues to grow. In 2022, TPV for Venmo reached $250 billion, a 7% year-over-year increase after a 40% growth in 2021. One of the main reasons for the growth is the adoption by big merchants. For example, in early February, Starbucks is now allowing customers to pay with Venmo. PayPal has also pursued other growth opportunities, such as expanding PayPal working capital to France and the Netherlands, so we continue to see that international growth. They're also providing complimentary access to happy returns for PayPal checkout merchants. They have also recently introduced a business credit card with a 2% cash back, and they are launching tap to pay for small to medium-sized businesses in Netherlands, Sweden, and the UK. That international growth is also one of my favorites, but furthermore, PayPal's Buy Now, Pay Later products maintain strong momentum with over 20 billion Buy Now, Pay Later total process volume in 2022, and that's up 160% year over year. We can also see Buy Now, Pay Later transactions have roughly 147 million, up 200% year over year, and customers of roughly 25 million, up 105% year over year. Now my new favorite growth opportunity is what they're calling PayPal Complete Payments, PPCP. And this is initiative is a more generic at scale platform for channel partners with small medium businesses offering an alternative to Braintree's enterprise focused approach. PayPal is still in early innings here, but with the growth we saw with Braintree, PPCP has a huge potential. And one thing that we are seeing with PPCP is that unfortunately, Braintree can't scale down. You can't go to smaller businesses. It's mainly focused for those huge enterprises business. So with PPCP kind of creating those same solutions for a whole new market, it's definitely a huge opportunity for PayPal. Now, the third reason we're going to take a closer look at some charts and some financial data. And after analyzing this, we will be able to see how PayPal has demonstrated impressive performance over time, making it an attractive investment option. If we take a closer look at this first chart, which we see free cash flow and stock buybacks, free cash flow in trailing 12 months is roughly $5 billion, and stock buybacks is roughly $950 million. Now, if we take a closer look at price to free cash flow, this is one of its lowest value. 
roughly 17 right now. And remember, this is a company that we've just talked about numerous, numerous growth initiatives. Next, taking a closer look at their balance sheet, we have cash and short-term investments of roughly $10.8 billion. They do have a nice amount of total long-term debt of roughly $10.4 billion, but they are net cash flow, um, net cash positive. More importantly, we did see that free cash flow of roughly $5 billion. So financially, I am not worried about this company's health. Another kind of impressive chart we can see here is this company's outstanding shares and average diluted outstanding shares continue to go down uh, in the past three years. And again, with everything we're seeing, I think this makes PayPal at least a nice option to keep an eye out. In conclusion, the growth potential of Braintree PayPal's complete payment PPCP initiative and the company's strong financial performance make it a compelling stock for me to consider or to continue add on because it is already in my portfolio. As the digital landscape continues to evolve, keep an eye on PayPal's ongoing innovation and expansion. That's all for the bullish case for PayPal stock. If you found this video informative and engaging, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more stock market insight. And as always, do your own research before making any investment decisions. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy investing.